Kerry here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. In today's video, we're going to tell you about all the different ways we heat our homestead in 2021, including this big green monster we have here in our backyard. We get a lot of questions about this. Why is this thing outside? What is it doing? We're going to talk about all the different ways we're heating our homestead in 2021. So come along and learn with us. And at the end of this video, as we do in every episode of Homestead How, we're going to show you some of our favorite photographs we took this week. This is a central boiler outdoor wood burner. Why is it outside, you might ask? We get that question a lot on our channel because it's big. You can put huge logs in here in the firebox and there's a ton of water in it and it heats up the water and the water gets pumped through these pumps into our house. And the reason you want something like this is to heat multiple units. So if we just had one little small house, we'd only use our indoor wood burner which we're gonna show you in a second. But because we have a large homestead, we actually have two properties, two furnaces. Um, we use this unit. It also heats all of our hot water and with uh, four girls in the house, six people in our family, we go through a lot of hot water. So this makes all of our hot water, heats our upstairs rental unit, heats our house, and it also heats our garage. And I'll show you that in a second. The reason you'd want something like this is if you have a lot of different um, areas to heat. There's two pumps in there. We could also add a third pump if we wanted to heat, say, like a hot tub or a pool or another outbuilding like a greenhouse. So this is our outdoor wood burner. It works with wood, lots of firewood that we have to cut every single year. It's a lot of work. They're kind of expensive to install. and We've done a ton of videos on these. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to learn about our outdoor wood burner. This is our indoor wood burner. And this is the main way I would like to heat our homestead if we didn't have a large ranch and two separate units. If you're new to homesteading, you're going to become a homesteader, strongly consider one of these indoor wood burners. They put out a ton of heat. They're not too expensive. They're cozy. They create light. This is really the heart of our homestead. And there's nothing like firing this thing up on the first day of winter and everyone gathers around it. They're great to have. The uh, units themselves are a couple hundred dollars. The chimney and exhaust part of it can be even more expensive than the unit themselves, so be sure to price that out if you're looking. There's also lots of little accessories like this little eco fan I have here. We did a video on that. Our unit also has an electric fan on the back of it. Um, you plug that into the wall and you turn it on and it really circulates the air nicely. This could heat an entire homestead if you had a smaller two-story homestead, and I'd strongly recommend checking into one of these. This is our propane furnace. This is the furnace that most households have. This runs on propane, or if you live in the city, you could run on natural gas. Ours is a little bit different because you see these tubes coming into it. This is from our outdoor wood burner. So we can run this furnace on either propane or water, hot water, that's boiling hot, that's 180 degrees, coming from our outdoor wood burner, comes in and gets pumped through these pipes. You just turn the furnace fan on, you don't waste any propane, the fan blows through these hot pipes and it heats the entire house. This furnace is for our upstairs rental unit. So this is the second way we heat our house. If we're not using the outdoor wood burner, we have propane as a backup, and the propane comes and they put it in a tank, or some places have natural gas. So this is the second way we heat our house, and before we added our outdoor wood burner, the previous owners only used propane. Let's show you another way we're heating our homestead. All right, now we're in our garage workshop area. We've built two tiny houses here and we've done a ton of work on our homestead. Our homestead was not livable when we first moved in it, so everything had to be remodeled and a lot of that happened out of this workshop. And in central Wisconsin, it gets really cold. So when we put in our outdoor wood burner, we also added this. This heater is using water from the outdoor wood burner. That water gets pumped through the heater and there's a little electric fan on the back and the fan turns on and it blows the hot air in here. And believe it or not, we have a pretty large workshop garage. We have this, this door here. And then if we go over this way, we have that garage door over there. So we have a really large garage and 
this unit heats the entire thing pretty quickly. We have a little thermostat that we put on the electric fan and the thermostat detects the temperature of the garage. So say if it goes under 60 degrees, it'll kick on and we can have it go on until it gets to 65 degrees. So it's not running all of the time. I don't always have water going through this. It depends on the time of year. There's been time when there's a couple months and we're not using it at all. And instead of having the water go through there, I'll just bypass it and it'll go up and it'll go over through to the other furnace. So hot water is another way to heat your homestead. And if you get one of these outdoor wood burners like we do, if you're building a new homestead, one thing I would do differently is have the hydronic heating going through the floor where you have the PEX tubing going through the floor with the hot water in it and it radiates up and it heats the entire thing. We didn't have that here. This house was already built, so we weren't gonna tear out all the cement and the floors and put that in. So we have sort of a forced air over hot water system here. So this is another way we're heating our homestead. This is our homestead dog kennel. And the way we heat this is with propane. We use this little propane heater. There's no electricity, there's no fan. We have a little propane tank outside and we purchased that at Tractor Supply and we have to fill that up every now and then. Uh, but that heats this entire building and it keeps it nice and toasty warm in the coldest days of winter. I believe we paid about $300 for this unit. You turn it on, the propane comes up and it just radiates off of here and it heats up a room this size. This room is about 10 by 14 and it heats it up no problem. So these could be a great option for your homestead outbuilding, especially if you don't have electricity. The only thing we need to run this is propane. So those are the multiple ways we heat our homestead and our outbuildings. Leave a comment down below. How are you heating your place? Would you do anything different? And thanks a lot for watching.